is your where if you know, you know, and if you don't, we confirm it. Hey, hey, Leo, Leo, you mungo da depend. Yani, ni meleto, wana umi wame jitolea, eh, mhanga. Leo, anataka kupapana hapa hivi. Design moja, fine, thank you. As per K, I'm your host, Buddha Boss. What I need discover our din kina nani araka faster. Bro, what's your name? What do you do? My name is Brian Sharif. Brian Sharif? Yeah. Your <laughs> Sharif na kujipea me ukweli. Ukweli. ID. ID na sama Sharif? Yeah. Oi, okay. Tuko na Sharif. <laughs> Unafanya nini Sharif? Student content creator. Content creator. Wewe ni student wapi? Zita University. Zita, kuna so many? Edi, eh, hey, mwalimu. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Karibu sana Sharif. Wacha nikuite Sharif mti yangu. Bro. What's your name? What do you do? Daniel Kinuthia, yes. student. Wapi? Dedan Kimati. Unasomea nini Kinuthia? Mechatronics Engineering. Nini yo? Mechatronics. Mechatronics! So you do? This is between engineering. Oh. Kaa zote combined. Oh. Mechanical. Hey, yes, kila, kila kitu combined. Kila All right! Combined. Kinuthia na Sharif. Team yoni na ituaje? Team, team trio. trio. Team Trio! Uh, what is that? You don't know how to revise the console. You don't know how to revise the console. I'm going to Bro, mm. what's your name? What do you do? Brian Ogutu. Yes. Student. Uh, and also a rugby player. Rugby? Mm. Si ya dinakujaje. Rugby boche za home ama serious? Serious. Talk high school. From high school? Eh. Sawa. Kenye tu umesema Brian Minta go na kitu umesema. Na umesema Babu. Eh Babu hiyo ni jina watu wamenipea. Nikuite Babu leo ama Babu iko sawa. Babu iko sawa. Safi Babu. Karibu sana mti yangu. Bro, what's your name? What do you do? Naitwa Ian Gado. Mm. Student and also a singer musician. Hey. <laughs> singer musician. Safi, karibu sana Ian mti yangu. Eh, hey, umesema ni student unasoma nini? Ah, nafanya food production. Food production. Yeah. Hey, leo nakwambia hii team inaitwa Ian na Babu. Team Razors. Team Razors. All right, we have Team Razors versus Team Trio. <sighs> Don't you good team? So far. Netia watu ni mafanu wa Manu. Na host ni mtu wa Arsenal. Napenda hiyo. <laughs> anyway, back to serious business. As per K, we begin with our quick fire trivia. We are going to ask them 10 questions. They have exactly 60 seconds to respond. If they get it correct, they get themselves 100 points. And just in case we don't know the answer, what do we do? Pass. Pass. I love it. Pass. Team Trio. Yes. Number is an 18. Yes. I'm Okay. Mm. Babu. Yes. I would like to begin with you. No, no, you took on Ganga, you got Harry. All right, remember, we cannot discuss to La Pambana and Halietu on behalf of the team. Lakina believe Mutafana Kitu team raises. I'll see you. Mm. Raises, eh? Yeah, yeah. Your time begins now. Yellow roses are known for symbolizing what? If you don't know, say pass. Time is ticking. All right. What is the biggest desert in the world? Saraha. Saraha? No. T <laughs> desert. Sorry? Sa time is ticking. Sorry? Sahara. Sahara, correct. <laughs> <laughs> the country also known as Cop a country of copper. It's called Zambia. Correct. Mount Everest was named after Everest. Time is ticking. Pass. Pass. All right. The Eiffel Tower was built by Pass. Pass. All right. <laughs> the national flower of Britain is called Pass. Pass. All right. World Environment Day is held on which day? Time is ticking. 25th. 25th of uh, May. Incorrect. <laughs> the first Republican president of America was Pope. Uh... Did you say Pope? Time is ticking. Bush. Bush. In. <laughs> Correct. The country famous for samba dance is mm, Brazil. Brazil. Correct. The United Nations Organization was formed in which year? 19? 1968. 1968. Good job. I like it. In. Correct. Ah. <laughs> 1945. Correct. 1945. But unfortunately, Hakuna point up on the ah, <laughs> yeah. 
Koleni sana. Yellow roses are known for symbolizing friendship. Mtijali sezo na umu hapo kwa maua bado wamejafika, si ndio? Mulisema mko singo ama nilisema. All right, the first Republican president of America was Abraham Lincoln. And the World Environment Day is celebrated on 5th of June. Na ile nilifikiri utapata Mount Everest was named after Sir George Everest. Hizi vitu sifikirie sana. Jibu inakuanga tu karibu na wewe. Three questions correct. You have 300 points. Ian. Kidogo tuambie Sarah Adea <laughs> But it is okay. All right, team trio. Yes. Sharif. Yes. Sikiza na wewe mti yangu. Sawa. Umependa hiyo jina sana. <clears throat> Ready? Yeah. Time begins now. The principal export of Jamaica is cotton. Cotton in. Correct. What do you call a group of sheep? A flock. Correct. Who invented the first washing machine? Pass. All right. Which word in English in which each letter is repeated at least twice is the longest? Pass. Pass, all right? What is the most popular breed of dog? German Shepherd. In. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> How many legs does a butterfly have? Six. Six legs or six yeah. pairs? Oh, three pairs of legs. Six. Three pairs of legs. Yeah. In. Come on. <laughs> Correct. The world's largest diamond producing countries. Tanzania. Tanzania! <laughs> In! Correct! The national flower of Italy is? Roses. Roses! In! Correct! <laughs> A distinguished feature that is black and white on the road surface and normally gives priority to pedestrians is called? Zebra crossing. Correct! Which is the fastest car in the world? Bugatti. Bugatti! Which one? Bugatti Vero Super Sport is the correct answer. Lakini juu jamaa sura yake na cartoon ni mtu kuona huruma. Asilia sana the Bugatti Vero does 431 kilometers per hour my friend Unafika Mombasa na 1 hour point <laughs> <laughs> The national flower of Italy is lily and the world's largest diamond producing country is South Africa not Tanzania Dugiangu nimekuona sana Which word in English in which each letter is repeated at least twice is the longest the word is and prosperousness <laughs> <laughs> right and of course you got this one correct what wa mungu <laughs> yeah, how many legs does a butterfly have ulisema ni ndugu yangu sema tu sema tu na guru sema na guru six legs six ago six legs okay ujamani sema six legs akasema how many pairs three Three pairs. What are you going to be true? I'm going to be able to Correct. How many legs? And of course, the most interesting one, the principal export of Jamaica is not cotton. <laughs> It is sugar. It is sugar. Now, you know, three questions correct. Four, how many? Three. Three questions correct. A flock of sheep. <laughs> Then, I'm going to be butterfly. No, Zebra costume, that is three. Mm. Bugatti. Oh, Bugatti ni liwone ya Roma. Ah, Bugatti ya Pana. Ni liwone ya Roma. Ah, ni liwone ya Roma. Ni liwone ya Pana. So, that's our four questions. All right, 400 points. Hey, leo, mutu yangu, leo. Kuzi, yali, ala njini kuna mali, nita wone ya Roma. Nita wone ya Roma, tukue draw. Okay, you guys are now leading. Mkona opportunity ya kuchagua katia history, sports, food and drink. Food and drink. History, no. Sports, no. Food and drink. Food and drink. Yeah. Unaitaji. <laughs> Nimeona. All right. My brother Kinudi, are you ready? Yeah. Time begins now. Between apples and pineapples, 
which is known to have meat tenderizing properties. Pineapple. Correct. The little gas that is often added to meat in small doses to increase redness, thus making aged meat appear fresher. It's called. Time is ticking. Meat tenderizer. <laughs> meat tenderizer. <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> Basundi is a dairy product that is popular in which part of the world? South Africa. South Africa. <laughs> Incorrect. Coconut water can be used as what in the case of medical emergencies? Pass. Pass. All right. Which is the largest food and drink company in the world? Coca Cola. Coca Cola. In. Correct. <laughs> Kiwi fruit are indigenous to which part of the world? Africa. Africa. In. Correct. What is the main ingredient in hash browns? Browns. Browns. <laughs> in. Correct. <laughs> what are dried plums called? Pass. Pass. All right. In December 2018, which African country was rocked by food routes? Zambia. Zambia! <laughs> in! Correct! Bologna is a form of what? Also known as baloney by Americans. Dessert. Dessert! <laughs> Incorrect! Bologna is a form of sausage. Americans call it baloney, which also means a silliness. I'm a kid to silly. In December 2018, Sudan was the country that was rocked by food riots. And then, Kudengine Apa Kidogo, coconut water can be used as what in case of medical emergency? Blood plasma. Yata mimi nilisikia ni kashtuka ro. And of course, the little gas. <clears throat> Bro, my friend. Apa kwa little gas. Little gas. <laughs> Ulisama tenderizer. Kama tenderizer. <laughs> Correct answer is carbon monoxide. Okay, you guys have gotten one. <laughs> Question correct. 100 additional points. 500 points for Team Trio. Mm. 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 Babu, yep. Ian, yes. muko na opportunity ya kupita watu kama kitu ingine. Sports ama history? History. Ian, history. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ningependa niaze now Ian, your time begins now. Which African country named its capital after a US president? Time is ticking. Djibouti. Djibouti. In. <laughs> In what year did Christopher Columbus discover the new world? 1416. 1416. In. Yeah. Correct. Which African trade requires travel across the Sahara from Sub-Saharan Africa to North Africa? Trade, type of trade. Yes. Uh, Time is ticking, bro. Butter. <laughs> butter. <laughs> in. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> how many? <laughs> how many presidents has Ken had? Four. Correct. In which U.S. state was Barack Obama born? Mm. Time is ticking, bro. <laughs> well. <laughs> Where? <laughs> New Zealand? No. <laughs> New York. New York! <laughs> In! Correct! <laughs> Chief Justice of the Buganda Kingdom of the Buganda was called? Chief Justice? Yes. Omulamuzi. Correct! Omulamuzi! Correct! Identify two main methods of trade in the past. Uh, ba uh, butter, tr uh, butter trade. Uh huh. And. Time is ticking! Butter trade and. Slave trade, slave trade. Slave trade! Nukiangu, <laughs> I'll come to you on that one. What was the significance of the golden stool among the Asante? Mm, unity. Unity, correct. Who is the current speaker of the Senate in Kenya? Wamatangi. <laughs> <laughs> In correct, which is the largest country in Africa? Uh, Africa, yes, Sudan. Sudan, 
in. Ah, uh, correct. Oh my God. All right, largest country in Africa is Algeria. Second in line is the DRC. Sudan is number three. Oh. Ume karibia sana ndugi yangu. And just in case you want to know Kenya, tuko number 24. But I'm scared by sana because Uganda is 33. <laughs> <laughs> the current speaker of the Senate is Kenneth Makelo Lusaka. Ndugi okay. yangu, hapo kwa matangi. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, I've identified two main methods of trade in the past. Yes, because we're frequently umia sana. It was something to be proud about. Like killing the gang when Yeah, we're gonna be a butter trade, currency trade. Get to Jenga, see for a kid anyway. The blacks live much. Oh my God. The African trade that requires travel across the Sahara from the sub-Saharan Africa to North Africa is trans-Saharan trade. <laughs> now we know, my brother, you are so close on this one. In what year did Christopher Columbus discover the new world? It was 1492. Oh, not Apoca 14, so close. Excellent job. You guys have gotten one, two, three, four questions correct. You are now at seven. 100 points! Why? Yeah, kutangulia kwa quick fire. <laughs> Let's find out kutakuwa VP in our next challenge, which is two truths, one lie. <laughs> Say the <laughs> This is the quiz show. We are on to our next challenge, which is two truths and one lie. The task at hand is to discover which of the three statements I will read is the false statement. So far, Team Razors are leading at 700 points. Hot on the Hills is the trio at 500 points. What wrong? How about you guys could discuss? Now, Penda, yo. Okay. Babu na Ian. I will read out your three statements. I believe they will also appear on the screen. All you have to do is tell me which is the false statement of the three. The first statement reads as follows. <clears throat> if you cry in space, the tears just stick to your face. True or false? If you cut an earthworm in half, both halves can regrow their body. True or false? Humans can distinguish between over a trillion different smells. True or false? You have five seconds to tell me which of the three statements is false. Is it statement number one, statement number two, or statement number three that is false? Bab. Yeah. One question. Statement, statement one is false. Yes. If you cry in the space, the tears just stick to your face. New pussy. Kweli. Wongo. New wongo. I stick. I use the stick. And then you kweli. From Bromelia, I use the stick. Hmm. Let me tell you for free, humans can distinguish between over one trillion different smells. It is true. Statement number two. If you cut an earthworm in half, both halves can regrow their body. It is false. Only one half can regrow its body. And believe it or not, if you cry in the space, it will stick to your face. If you don't believe me, go and try. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> no points for you guys. You guys can make this on 600 points. Your three statements read as follows. Adults have fewer bones than babies. True or false? Statement number two. There are more cells of bacteria in your body than there are human cells. True or false? Statement number three. Your fingernails and hair keep growing after you die. All right? You guys have five seconds to tell me which one is false. Your fingernails and hair keep growing after you die. All right? So in your wisdom, adults have fewer bones than children. Yeah, it shouldn't be true. 
It should be true. Because home is Emma. Let me tell you for free. There are more cells of bacteria in your body than human cells. It is true. And let me also tell you for free. It is also true. That adults have fewer bones than babies do. Therefore, the false statement is statement number three. <laughs> Your fingernails do not continue growing when you die. Help us our 100 additional points. Team Trio at 600 points. Kulingana na wewe, kama uso ya mutu, ineza kaku inspire na confidence. Which team do you think is going to carry the day? Nikibuta fumes. Keep duty. Ndachungulia. Welcome back to the quiz show where if you know, you know and if you don't, we confirm it so far. We have Team Trio to my right at 600 points and Team Razors at 700 points. Now we are coming on to a challenge. Yenye, we can snatch points. Mutu akilala kidogo ta. You can be able to snatch points. I hope we are going to have a contest in the half year. Team leader, so far you go first. We come to our first challenge of guess the meaning of the word. You can discuss, you can give me a team answer, and somebody can snatch a hundred points if you fail to get it. All I am looking for is the correct synonym from the options I am going to give. Your first word is diaphanous. Options are A, cantankerous, B, bemused, C, retroactive, D, sheer. Five seconds, Ian, on behalf of the team, Utanipea Jibu. Is it A, B, C, or D? But you can discuss and tell me what you agree. A, B, C, or D, diaphanous. B. B, bemused. What do you think? It doesn't matter. Incorrect! You guys can snatch 100 points. Kinudia. Shia. Shia! Umasawa yezi kuwa kantankaras. All right! Shia is correct! 100 points! Napenda yo! You guys are now at 700 points. It's a time. Can you make it 800 points? Your word is odious. Odious. Options are A, burdensome, B, smelly, C, pleasing, D, hateful. Is it A, B, C, or D? Sharif? B, smelly. Smelly! And yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, odious. Mm -hmm. All from odious. You know, mm -hmm. the order, yeah. You know, odious, odious, odious. You know, yeah. I'm going to you. Let's see. Sharif, you're going to say that. Incorrect! Okay. You guys can start 100 points. Babu! Eh! Eh! na guvu! Confidence! Eh! But then some! Learn from the best! Menawana! Okay! Correct answer is, as you said it! Hateful! <laughs> no point! <laughs> but it is a tie! 700 points! I move over to you guys! You have an opportunity of making this 800 points! Your word is prolific. Options are A, productive, B, unwise, C, relaxed, D, superb. Ian, A, B, C, or D? Productive. Productive. Ian, you better go to Yimbi, Mazi. You're an Yimbist. Very good job. Correct. 100 points. You are at 800 points. You guys can make it a tie. Your word is provision. Options are A, warranty, B, mistake, C, limitation, D, preparation. Hey! Kinutia, Nikona Mewe, on behalf of the team. A, B, C, or D? D. Gabi. D. Preparation. Preparation. Uko unsure. Sindi ho? Muna prefer gani? 
No, no just stick to the pre- preparation. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. Sir. Sir, you should be. Me no stick, man! Correct! 100 <laughs> points! Hey! 800 <laughs> points a piece! What's that only when you could have in our next challenge of spell the word? And this time round, I'll begin with Team Trio. <laughs> <laughs> this is the quiz show. We are on to our challenge of spell the word. We are going to read out a statement, pick out a word, test them to spell it correctly. Once again, you're free to snatch 100 points. Mutua kilala. I'll see you. Hey, 800 points apiece. Team Trio get to go first this time round. Your statement reads as follows. He picked up the miscellaneous papers in his entry. Spell for me, miscellaneous. Sharif, ni mwana wanyu meandiko unaijua. Miscellaneous. Miscellaneous. Alright, your time is up. Let's go, Sharif. Miscellaneous. Yes. M M I I S S C C E E Double L Double L A A N N I I O O U S O U S. Good job. I like it. And correct. Can you snatch hundred points, Babu? Am I here, Numerica? Yeah, you're here. M M I I S S E E L L A L A Yes N N I I O O U S Difference ni double Sindio wala leka double L ni mkeka single Sindio Ya nilijua 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 Incorrect Correct spelling is M I S C E Double L A N E Not I E O U S No point so far Can you guys make his 900 points and take the lead? Your statement reads as follows. The head porter works in close liaison with the reception office. Spell for me liaison. Liaison. Babu, nikona wewe. Eh, Babu. Your time is almost up. And yes, it is. <laughs> Trenekas babu. Eh. 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 Kama imekuwa imezidi? Mm, pass. Pass. To pass. Acha ni jaribu. Nimewacha. Nimewacha jaribu. <laughs> jaribu ndugu, jaribu. L. L. Y. Y. E. E. Z. 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 O. O. N. N. E. Beautiful. At least umepata mark ya kujaribu. Incorrect. You guys got 100 points. Ya ni ngumu. Kitu ni hata mtu jaribu. Tunajaribu L L I I A S S O O N N So close bro. Kai E. Would you like to change your answer? Sir. Change it. Please change it. Please change it. I'm going to talk a bit of mark up. Please change it. L L I I A S S O O N N E N E Okay. <laughs> Incorrect. Correct spelling is L I A I S O N. That's the correct spelling of liaison. All right. No points so far. Still tied at 800 points. Can you guys take the lead? Your statement reads as follows: The unnecessary bureaucracy in local government. Spell for me bureaucracy. Bureaucracy. Sharif. Gotari. B. B. U. U. R. R. E. E. A. A. U. U. C. C. R. R. A. C. Y. Do you wish to change your answer? Last chance. No. 
No. Yeah. All right. What's your spelling? B. B. E. E. U. U. R. R. O. O. C. C. R. R. A. A. C. C. Y. All right. Good. I like it. Correct. 100 points. Correct spelling is B U R E A U C R A C Y. 100 points to Team Trio. Now at 900 points, you guys have an opportunity of tying it up. Your statement reads as follows: The hierarchical bureaucracy of a local authority. Spell for me hierarchical. Hierarchical. <laughs> Aira? Aira? Jaribuni, musiata ipite, Aira Kikon. Your time is almost up. Sema tu. Sema tu. Sema tu. Babu, let's go. Yeah. Mm. H. H. I. I. E. E. R. R. A. A. C. C. I. I. C. I. Okay. C. A. C. A. L. L. Would you like to change your answer, Babu? Anything you want to add or remove? You are taking evil. 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 You are You are are thousand points can they maintain the lead in our next challenge of guess the logo let's find out <laughs> this is the quiz show we are on to our challenge of guess the logo correct brand identification io2 will show you an image all you have to do is to tell me which brand name I'm looking for, you can still discuss and you can also snatch 100 points. Team Trio, I want to test 1,000 points. Like in it of only 200 points, Team Razors can catch up. Your first image is this one. All right. Can you do Sharif? DSTV multi choice. DSTV multi choice. Hold that thought. <laughs> Babu, Ian. Seba, eh, uh -huh. Daniel. Company a mattress. <laughs> company a mattress. Nipe jine company a mattress. Nipe jine. <laughs> Doctor mattress. Doctor mattress. Okay. Dr. Mattress versus DSTV. What's the correct answer? Let's find out. Dr. Mattress, need you. <laughs> <laughs> correct. 100 points. You're around 1,100. Can you make it 1,200? Your next image is this one. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Uh-huh. Can you hear? Talk to me. Uh-huh. Mm. Yeah, to do us. Ah, Jaribu. Najua mjui. Jaribu. Try something. Tunawana ni Gary. Gary! Gary! Gary, Gary. Sema. Nika Pidjot. Ah, nika ba Pidjot! Pidjot! Right, for sure. Okay. Niko na watu wa pijot. Aya nini? Which one? What's your answer? Twitter. Twitter. Wale ukipara Twitter iko na Dushia Brown. Akitoka. Toka kwa platform. Toka kwa platform. Rosa. All right. Is it Twitter? Hata sitaingia hapo sana. All right. Correct answer.
You guys have an opportunity of getting a hundred points. Your image is this one. Are you gonna do a seventy-two? Hanan. Hanan. Yan. Okay, hold that thought. Kinudia. Ni Hanan. All right, is it Hanan? Let's find out. Yes, it is. 100 additional points. Can you make it 1000 points? Your next image is this one. Babu, Ian, which one? Hmm? Java. Oh, Java. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Kitu ya jam. Kitu ya jam. So, say me to Gani, ya jam. Zesta. Zesta! Good one. Kinudia? Naka del Monti. Naka del Monti. Mm. Del Monti. <laughs> okay. Is it del Monti? <laughs> or is it Zesta? Ooh. It is del Monti. <laughs> <laughs> 100 points! Hey, what young? Muko Gabi, turn about 1300. I'm going to go to the show. I'm going to go to the show. Okay! After this short commercial break, to na anza na a favorite challenge. Guess the tune. Welcome back to the quiz show where if you know, you know, and if you don't, we confirm it. Hey, all right. Kuna watu mumetupa inje so far, mulingia pale mweza kusema, oh, oh, venye tunaona team racers wanabeba. The reality so far, Team Trio are leading at 1,200 points. And Team Razor's 900 points, but anything is still possible. We come to our next challenge of Guess the Tune. You can still discuss and you can also snatch 100 points. Team leaders, what were power? Go make a chance a few seconds. All I want you to tell me is the correct title of the song and the artist, Mwenye Ameimba. Alright, first tune, turn the gas. Alright. Short and sweet. Short and sweet. Salty song featuring Ashinsky. Correct! You may do a two hour to Alright, correct! 1,300 points! Can you make it 1,400 points? Your next song is this one! Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, Sharif! Katika Navikenzo. Nanani? Navikenzo. Navikenzo? Yeah, Katika. Uh, Amimba Pekake! Amemba peke yake. Chatuweke diamond. Ni wache muweke diamond. Nimewacha. Tumemweka. Mumemweka. Nini? Ni peni. Jibu yenu. Anacheza tena. Ome, wacheze tu tena. Wacheze tena wajibambe. Katika. Katika? By who? Na Vikenzo featuring diamond platinum. Na Vikenzo featuring diamond platinum. Okay. The correct answer is Katika. By Diamond and Navikenzo. A hundred points. <laughs> one thousand four hundred points for Team Trio. You guys can make this on one thousand. Your tune is this one. Turn the DJ. Aha. I hear you know me. Johnny. Eh. Yemi Alade. Johnny Yemi Alade. Hey, hey, hey. Correct! 100 points! Can you make it 1,100? Your next tune is this one! One 
One more time, DJ. One more time. Okay. Babu. Ian. Pass. Pass. Juakali. Uh, Juakali. Good. Wimbo. Drop a title. Time is ticking, bro. Tubaki na juakali. Ka maintain. What you have? Tuneza flavor. All right, DJ, one more time. Okay. Sharif, Tirudia. Mm -hmm. That's it. Emoji. Emoji. Do me. Emoji. Okay. All right. Is it you are currently with no title or do me emoji? Correct answer is. Do me by P square. <laughs> Half point. <laughs> no point. Sad. Unfortunately, no point. Sad. You are still at 1,400 points leading. Kazim Zuri Sana so far, 1,000 points. Tunaingia kwa mbivu na mbiti. Kipindi chalana salama. Back to school. the quiz show we are on to our final challenge of the day which is back to school we are going to test our contestants on how much they can remember of what they learned in school this is going to be quick fire trivia and therefore no discussion you answer by yourself but earn points on behalf of the team team leader so far team trio at 1400 points you have an opportunity of extending your lead Tunaanza na somo na Kiswahili. Sije ndio anza na wewe ndugu Kinudhia au nianze na ndugu Sharif. Ni saa tu tano. Nianze nawe. Nianza nawe. Haya, kama hujui jibu wasemaje? Kita. Vivyo hivyo. Swali la kwanza ni hili. Kikembe cha papa huitwa Muda wako yoma. Pita. Asanti. Kamilisha metali. Kanga hazai. Pita. Pita. Haya. Aendeshae na kuongoza vyombo vya angani huitwa rubani. Umepata kofia inayovaliwa na wafalme, watawala au washindi kuashiria cheo chao au ushindi wao huitwa taji. Umepata hadithi ndefu iliyochapishwa katika kitabu chake pekee huitwa riwaya. Umepata kumi ukigawa kumi unapata nini? Moja. Umepata. No. 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 Waswahili walisema usidarau uwe mbamba wa reli. Mmepata <laughs> alama 400 zaidi. Hivi sasa mko na alama 1800. Ah, hapo sawa. Kikembe cha papa huitwa kinegwe. Kabilisha metali kanga hazai ugenini. Kanga hazai ugenini. Ndugu zanguni. <laughs> ndugu yangu babu sijui nianze nawe au nianze na ndugu yangu Ian yote kwa sababu mimi tayari yote uko tayari naomba nianze nawe swali lako la kwanza ni hili kamilisha kuku mgeni hakosi nyoya nyoya la hasha aendeshaye na kuongoza vyombo vya majini kuitwa umepata rangi nyeusi ya majimaji au unga unga inayotumika na wanawake kupaka machoni huitwa Hina. Hina. Umeloa. Neno linaloweza kusimama badala ya jina au nomino huitwa Neno linaloweza kusimama badala ya jina au nomino huitwa Mdako yoma. Pita. Pita, asanti. Siku itakayokuja baada ya kesho, yaitwa kesho kutwa. Umepata. Kisawe cha msichana huitwa Kaka. Kaka. <laughs> Ah, 
Ah, ah. Haya, jibu sahihi ni banati. Banati, neno linaloweza kusimama badala ya jina au nomino ni viwakilishi. Kisha rangi nyeusi inayopakwa machoni na wanawake ni wanja au wanja. <laughs> Kisha swali la kwanza ilikuwa kuku mgeni, kuku mgeni hakosi kamba mguuni. Mmepata uh, maswali mawili sahihi. Mmejongezea alama 200. Haya. We. Team Razors. Mm. Umejika kamua. Naam. 1200 points. Leaders. You can make this one a tight sure as if you choose correctly. Science Mathematics or ICT? Science. 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 Mapenda yo, kumbuka. Muki kosa ata mmoja. Muki kosa zote. Na hao pate zote. Tumetai. <laughs> you only need one. <laughs> Haya, Sharif. <clears throat> Ukoredi, nakitaini yazana wewe. Tari? Yeah. Okay. What's the disease caused by a worm called fluke? Milazia. Correct. Which form of energy is possessed by water in a waterfall? Kinetic. Correct. Which planet is the fifth from the sun? Time is ticking. Time is ticking. Uh, Jupiter. Correct. Absorption of water and mineral salts takes place in which part of the body? Small intestine. Small intestine. In. Correct. Which waterborne disease has the following signs and symptoms? Fever, skin rashes, severe headache, aching or pain in the muscles. Is it bilharzia, typhoid, malaria or cholera? Cholera. In. Correct. Which state of matter expands most on heating? It should be gas. Gas! <laughs> I think it's... Correct! I like it! Wow. One hundred points! Ian, you see what you're doing? I want to give you two more you see? You see, it's okay. Oh boy, absorption of water and mineral salts takes place in the large intestines. So close, my brother. So close. You guys have done super well. Five questions. Four? Oh, the disease is typhoid that I was looking for, not cholera. So you guys have gotten four questions correct. You finish at 2,200 points. D3. How about the Kumaliza strong? What you have? Kumaliza strong. Muko na opportunity ya kutagua kati ya mathematics au ICT. Babu, tuna kufana gani? Nasema ya hesabu. Hesabu? Kian, ngependa neza na wewe. Nilianza na babu. Uko tayari? Okay, your time begins now. 19 plus dash is equal to 42. Time is ticking. If you don't know, say pass. 23. Correct. What is the largest three digit number? What is the largest three digit number? Pass. All right. Uh, if the day tomorrow is Sunday, what was it yesterday? Saturday. Saturday. In. Correct. 1,000 liters of water has a mass of how many kilograms? In. Correct. Which value of x makes the equation true? x minus 7 is equal to negative 13. Which which value of x makes the equation true? x minus 7 is equal to negative 13. 20. 20. In. Correct. All natural numbers are 0. All natural numbers and 0 are called all natural numbers and zero are called dash numbers. Odd numbers. Odd numbers. 
<laughs> Incorrect. All natural numbers and zero are whole numbers. <laughs> 20 minus 7 is 13, but negative 6 minus 7 is negative 13. The correct answer is negative 6. A thousand liters of water has a mass of 1,000 kilograms. If the day tomorrow is Sunday, what was it yesterday? Say it. Friday, not Saturday. And what is the largest three-digit number? Nine, nine, nine. All right, mumejaribu watu wangu. At least mumepata one question correct. <laughs> Mm. 1,300 points. See you on Chezo on this show. See you on Chezo. Mutiangu. Experience in your watch. Ah, you got to say. Muli Sambwa. Muli Pigwa Samba very fast. But in a Kwanga, you guys have tried. Yeah. Excellent job, man. Thank you. Any regrets? No. No regrets. You like to do this again? Exactly. I like it. Hey, winners! Karibuni bana! Wee, ye, 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 ye. Sharif na Kinudia! Hey! Kinudia zumama hapa, Sharif zumama hapa hivi. Wee! Enye, kusama kweli, kuna watu nikoshiwa wa mishtuka. Wanashangenya wase, wanakatu hivi hivi. Lakini ni machopi. Hehehehe. Munika muka piga revisho nama? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. It just comes. It just comes. Hey, yeah, humility mkiango ni expensive. Anyway, all right, these are our winners today. Team Trio, they've done an excellent job. Remember to participate on this show. Ini mulifanya nini kutokea show? Ambia ni watu, mulifanya nini? You send your names. Yes. And uh, the request that you want to come to quiz show. Yes. To the SMS line or the email. All right, which SMS line? We sent, what is the number? We sent through the email. You sent through the email? Yeah. All right. Remember to participate on this show. Just send us an SMS to the number triple one triple four triple one or send us an email info at switchmedia.ke watch out as pake conversation in the lame turned out at freddy buddha boss to funny kitu muna maliza show when you need me more watch it to appear dance more party or dance june willingly no this is key this is key all right, Mutuangwa lights. Venue, I feel. I think we're going to have to drop it. What are you doing? Oh, my God.